Hello my precious gems, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I shave my face. So if you guys have been following me, recently had a little bit of a skin allergy. I used this, there's a crow crowing you guys. One day I decided to make a video and there's a crow crowing and there are people building stuff behind my house. So yeah, please bear with me but I didn't want this to be like a voiceover video. I wanted to like personally talk to you guys so I didn't want to like do a voiceover. So that's the reason that uh, you know, you'll be hearing a lot of all these natural sounds. But anyway you guys, so recently I had a little bit of a skin concern. I was using the Himalaya a cleanser and it was mentioned in the cleanser that it's for all skin types but uh, you know it had a sort of an allergic reaction on my face and I got tiny tiny bumps sand like texture all over my skin and it was horrible it was itchy it was burning I couldn't go out in the sun it, it was so many things together you guys and it was horrible I had to finally you know uh, meet a skin doctor and I spent quite a bit of money trying to rectify everything so you guys like this is my skin, bare skin, I've got nothing on my skin now, nothing on my lips, nothing on my eyebrows and because of this skin allergy, right, I did not use any sort of foundation or cream, I did not take any of my, yeah I think this is better, I, I did not take any of the you know peach furs on my face I let everything grow and I haven't even been using like makeup or I haven't been using you know sort of foundation or anything I just did eye makeup like a nice wing and a good lip because my lips and my eyes were okay so that's all I did but I had rashes everywhere you guys like over here and all of that so even after the rash went away I made sure that I did not use any sort of you know makeup or anything that irritated my skin right so right now the hair on my face though has grown a lot I have a nice jawline <laughs> right like I've got a really nice jawline I did not there's no makeup there's nothing and my jawline is like perfect yeah but anyway <laughs> I've let everything grow my eyebrows have grown can you see like it's, it's just grown and now what we're going to do is we're going to shave everything and I'm going to get ready you know, I usually shave my face because I feel, in my personal opinion, I feel like the makeup goes on a lot more smoother and it all works well to my advantage. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, so when I shave, I don't wear makeup on that day. On the day that I shave my face, I do not wear makeup on my face that day. I wait for the next day to wear makeup because I feel like if I wear makeup on the same day, my skin does get irritated, right? Because the top layer of the skin also, I feel like it gets, you know, all the dead cells, they all come out. So I feel like, you know, if I wear any makeup, my skin gets irritated. So I wait till the next day to wear makeup. So I'm going to start off with shaving my face. So buy these babies. So this is the Tinkle Face Razor. It's actually called the eyebrow razor, you guys, but uh, you get like, you get like two, two of these for like uh, 100 bucks, I guess. And these are the ones that do the job really well. So I get mine off of Amazon, like always like Amazon is, is my place to go get stuff. I really like Amazon, you guys. So I'm going to just take one of these and it comes with a tiny cap, as you guys can see. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to start, uh, you know, shaving my face and I'm going to be using a mirror. So one side of this mirror is like, it's super magnified. I don't know if you guys can see. It's actually super magnified and the other side is, is the normal one. I usually just go in with the 5x magnifying sign and I hold it close to my face like this. And then what I do is I go down. Never go up like this, always go down on your face okay so I usually like to start with my cheeks because it's a lot hairy over here so I like to start over here I like to push this part of my hair on top of my ears like this and then I start with the face shape can you see ooh, ooh, ooh. That's quite a bit of hair for like the first, for like the first time that I shaved, right? So 
I don't like to miss any part of my face so slowly and by giving a little bit of pressure I like just shave my face as you guys can see my face not naturally it has a dip over here can you guys see so this is where i usually put my contour but my face naturally you know it, it just goes in a bit over here so on places like that though be really careful because you're going down like this and then your razor sort of goes in right so be really gentle but put in like a little bit of pressure and take everything down so I've done that for like half of my face. This below is done. I've, I'm done using a razor there. I've left the hair on my mole though. It's still there. And you guys. So I, I did a photo shoot with a photographer, right? And he was showing me like that, that camera. It caught every detail, you guys. That, he was showing me how there was hair on my face over here. Like I'm one of those people who has hair like everywhere on my body and there was hair over here and he was pointing out how it no matter how much he edited right the hair was so visible because it was just so thick right so i like to like go over this area a little bit can you guys see how much of hair is actually coming off so I like to clear it up over here also. I like to make this place also super, uh, you know, clean and everything. And I feel like when I put highlighter on top of it, it shines a little better because there's no hair disturbing the shine, right? And it goes better. So it's just a personal choice. I like to like put my razor under on my cheeks over here, like on, you know, the under eyes and everything. Some people are actually blessed, they do not have hair over here, but I am Miss Harry Scary. I've got hair everywhere, you guys, and I just have to get rid of everything on every side. So, I feel like this, even this mild, you know, tiny razor is actually harsh for my skin, so that's the reason I don't use any makeup afterwards. And I just let everything, you know, you would have seen certain people online who they, you know, they'll shave their face and they'll immediately wear makeup. Please don't do that. It might not work for everybody. Like anything you see on the internet, if you see it on the internet, always make sure that you customize it to yourself or you check with your dermatologist or somebody before you do it for yourself. Because what I do might not really work for you and what someone else does might not really work for your body type or your face shape or your skin type so always understand that when you see something online it's it's what they do for themselves so this is how i shave my face you might have to cater it you might have to alter it for yourself so i just thought i'll jump in a little closer for this and so i'm gonna do my upper lip Can you guys see? So this is all the fine hair that was there. Can you guys see? There's there's some nice misa over here, and I've removed all the misa. Anyway, I had to put the dirty hair on my face to show you guys. But this is how I take my upper lips. yeah so the hair has come so i'm somebody who gets itchy around my nose over here though someday suddenly it will start itching and it will become red and it will become dark and all of that so i'm really careful when i do the corners over here or i won't even do it you know it's one of those things that really uh, you know it makes me sensitive so now I'm going to show you guys how I do my neck and by neck I mean this part of my face you guys like my that's my neck <laughs> so this part of my neck right over here though there's quite a bit of hair right so I just go straight down Mm. 
me see this. This is the amount of unwanted baby hair that's over there. That's also making everything look, you know, super clumsy and all. So I, I take it off also, you know, underneath my ears, on the sides of my neck. So I make sure that I remove everything off of my face and my neck. Because then, you know, my neck naturally starts looking darker, right? But it's, it's, it's not pigmentation or anything, it's just hair. But you guys, be really careful. If at all you're trying this at home, make sure your mom's there, make sure your dad's there, make sure somebody's there. Don't do it by yourself. Don't go cut your neck and, you know, like, you could die immediately. Like, this is not a joke. This is not for kids. This is not for somebody under 18. All the things that you have to say because common sense is not common. Because common sense is not common, right? So, you have to make sure that people don't do dumb shit by seeing somebody do this. When I was a lot younger though, it used to bother me that I had, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, peach fuzz and people at college and at home, they used to make fun of me. They'll be like, oh, your uh, Misa is bigger than my Misa and all of those things and it really bothered me. So I took it out right and once I took it out there was this you know fresh skin underneath and my lips started looking bigger and um, you know people and, and then you know uh, all the same people who bullied me they'd be like oh now you look like a boy I don't know if you're a boy or a girl you know all these things so I feel like it's a personal thing also getting you know removing the your facial hair is like a personal thing don't do it for people I like to do it I personally love myself with hair without hair any sort of body type I love myself for who I am but if if you know all these facial things facial hair loss you know when you're removing stuff like this do it for yourself and also have the confidence to be like okay you know what I took it off and and do it when you have the confidence to be yourself completely is what I'm trying to say so don't do it for somebody just because they're saying something because I did that when I was younger and right now though I, whatever I do I do it for myself so make sure that you know you're doing it for yourself and not for somebody else because um, then you'll be truly happy when you do something just for yourself and not to please someone or not to make other people comfortable do it only when you are comfortable so you will see some sort of difference because can you see my skin is a lot lighter over here than it is over there because I feel like the sun does not get through my hair or something I don't know it's just a lot lighter over here and it makes uh, and it makes it visible that you know there's no hair over here or it makes it visible that something's missing from there right so uh, it, it's also personal comfort I, I found it like okay initially though I found it quite disturbing that you know when I take it off it's going to be so obvious but eventually I got comfortable with uh, you know taking my hair off from here and I got comfortable looking like this rather than having the hair on my face so it's just personal comfort and feeling confident in your own skin so now comes the forehead okay so for the forehead right I like to just I like to leave this part of my hair as is because I think it's nice and I just start in the center like this I feel like that like sort of frames my face right I'll just hold my hair like have my skin like this super tight and I'll go straight down till the place where I want the hair to like start growing right till then I'm gonna take it off and over here also I do the exact same thing what I like to do is for my underneath the brows right I lift my eyebrow like this and I just go underneath My eyebrows can you see like this eyebrow is almost you know it already looks super clean and nice compared to this bad boy over here but yeah I've got to still cut out some hair up front and everything but this is the basic idea you guys oh we're almost done now right so what I like to do is just take my 
coolie run it on my eyebrow and just comb it high up as possible so now I can actually see all the excess hair that is over here right and I just cut it off so now it's even more it's well groomed it looks nice you could also like you know just when you're doing it though look into the mirror like your hand mirror go as close as possible so you get even like the tiniest bit of hair that's like out of place you can like you can catch it last but not least i have this mole on my face you guys so it's quite noticeable i don't have a problem with it i've lived with it all my life i love it it's on my face it's been there <laughs> ever since but uh, you know of recent times though after having a baby Jaden, though i don't know why he's so interested he like tugs on it and he pulls it he keeps pulling it it swells up it sort of becomes bloody you know it, it sort of you know swells like and it looks like you know it's red and it's filled with blood or something like that. It's, it's really bad so i have an intention of removing this mole permanently but this mole though it's got hair on it i don't know if you guys can see it's got hair on it so what i do is i just use my forceps my other forceps are like inside so I really can't take it right now because Jaden is sleeping but yeah so I've, I've gone in for a sharper forcep you guys but you can actually use you know the normal ones that you use for your eyebrows so and this is what I do dun, 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 dun. yeah <laughs> so this is how I shave my face. At this point though what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, wash my face and make sure that it's quickly clean and does not have all these you know tiny hair particles on my face. So I'm just going to wash my face and get back here real quick. So this is my face after and can you guys see how bright and clear and it's really you know it's looking really good right like after i got rid of all that unwanted and can you guys see how my eyebrows are like on fleek just wanted to like brush it up in place because my hair is like a little bit heavy yeah so it actually looks squeaky clean now right so now what i do is because you know i feel like there might be some sort of irritation or my skin might get irritated what I use is the Venusia cream so this is the face moisturizer cream that I use you guys it's the Venusia cream by Dr. Reddy's so this moisturizing cream came in recommended by my dermatologist so how I use it is I do a triangle on my face so like so and then one for my forehead one for my nose and one for my chin and then we do three spots for like the neck this is how she asked me to use it right so what's on the cheek on the lower half of the cheek the two dots are for like the lower half of the face and what you put over here is like for your under eyes up till here and for the size of your nose and a little bit above your eyes and this is the same thing you do on the other side of your face as well guys i'm not huge on uh, what you call skincare i use like soap to wash my face that's how that's how i was i'm not huge on skincare like i feel like skincare though good skin though it's hereditary you get good skin you have good skin in between though you can mess up your skin right you can mess up your skin you can really spoil it but i also don't believe in like huge expenditures on maintaining your skin i've seen people who spend a lot on skincare and their skin looks like shit all the time it looks horrible they have skin issues like all the time and me though now that i've hit 
a huge mark in my age now that I'm 30 though that's the reason why I started using like you know moisturizers and stuff like that but yeah I no, I'm not a regular you guys but I feel like I have pretty good skin for my age and the way that I actually use makeup on my skin and uh, all of those things so don't buy into stuff like that when people actually say uh, these things online do what works best for you and always work with the dermatologist i would suggest work with the dermatologist who's super old okay because old people right they have age they have experience they have they are updated so always go for a dermatologist who's like who's been in the field who knows what's up who's not all about making money so work with somebody like that so the next thing that i use for my face is this african shia butter this is by the craft farm you guys i have really bad cracked lips as you guys can see and i just take a little bit and i just start rubbing it on my lips like this and make sure that it's you know it sits on my lips it's nice and this makes sure that my lips don't crack it doesn't bleed or anything i have a very bad habit of biting my lips especially when i'm like you know stressed or tensed or you know i'm just overthinking about something which i do more often so can you see a bit off a little bit over here i have this really bad habit you guys and i have controlled my habit a lot because i'm really good at monitoring what i do and i'm really good at you know controlling my actions i don't do anything addictive so yeah i control myself and my lips are actually looking pretty good they used to look horrible uh, at first you know initially a few years back though i had like super cracked bleeding lips like as if i got attacked by a vampire or something but yeah this is what i do and don't worry if it goes on your skin or anything it's actually pretty soothing for the skin so i just leave it on my lips like this so you guys this is the lip balm that i use it's the omi brotherhood metholium medicated lip balm so omi as in omi and it comes with a built-in spf of 12 which is amazing and i find like when i use this lip balm on my lips right it's sort of even if there is like a fresh crack on my lip it seals everything together up next for my eyebrows i use this really cool mix of oils it's by the craft farm again they make these really cool hair oils you guys for like hair growth and they also do eyebrow oils so this is this particular eyebrow oil from them it has a mix of castor oil in it and it's great because it promotes hair growth on your eyebrows and i feel like when i wear it before i go to sleep right it really makes me sleep a lot better i don't know i just feel that way because once i just apply it on my eyebrows right and i go to sleep i feel like i sleep a lot better so i usually just apply it on my eyebrows and also like you know in like the center of my forehead i just apply a little bit so i sleep better so i'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this can you guys see i don't know if you guys can see because the oil is pretty it's colorless so you guys this is what I do to my eyebrows you guys can you see how it's combing my eyebrows I apply it on my eyebrows and I pretty much use just that one dip of oil because if I use too much it drags down to my you know to my eyes so I don't like that on my brush right I just take it on like my lashes you guys just like the top part of my lashes I don't take it deep like you know how you apply mascara like you know from the roots I don't go there I just apply it on like the tips of my eyelashes the lashes also grow super fluffy and nice there you go I have showed you guys how I shave my face how I shave my eyebrows and the skincare that I use to maintain my skin and my eyebrows and my lashes so if you guys like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends and also please comment down below and let me know if you do something extra to take care of your skin or your eyebrows or if you have any other techniques or tips or tricks on how you shave your face so i can actually learn from you and other people who read the comments can also learn from each other so i hope to make more videos soon and i hope it happens soon but until then see you guys later